This year's 100% Design South Africa, alongside Decorex Joburg, has taken this award-winning event to the next level. With an illustrious lineup of featured designers and curated displays by the country's leading product and design brands. Attendees had the chance to experience six all new curated features showcasing industry heavyweights such as John Vogel, Haldane Martin, and Tracy Lee Lynch. 100% Design South Africa was excited to announce that Leduma Ngolo of Maglosa was chosen as the 2019 Feature Designer of the Year thanks to the launch of his new interior line. Longtime stalwart of the South African design industry, Haldane Martin's 25 years experience in furniture and interior design perfectly equipped him for the task of creating the 100% lounge space. His understanding of how spaces function, as well as his striking furniture design, sets the scene for a stylish leisure zone. Tell us about 100% lounge and the idea behind it. So 100% lounge is really about creating a contemporary lounge space and I'm a South African designer, so for me it's also a contemporary South African lounge space. And my idea was to create an outdoor lounge setting in what would have been a Victorian gazebo, but in a very modern and contemporary way. Uh, well, the key pieces are our new outdoor furniture collections, and I'll start with the hula chair, which is a contemporary reinterpretation of a South African classic. My parents had these uh, chairs with a hoop ring in the 1970s on our patio. So I've reinterpreted this South African icon in a new, more graphic um, and geometric kind of way and also have improved the ergonomics of the chair. Then the next uh, important piece would be the, the Papa Sun sofa, which is a very plush, very comfortable, perfect sofa for sitting outside. Um, and that's really a reinterpretation of the bamboo cane uh, retro piece of furniture, but I've done it in stainless steel so that it lasts in our extreme climate. For the first time ever, 100% Design South Africa showcased a featured artist with Johannesburg-based creative R1 taking the honours. My uh, primary focus is, is, is working with street signs and, and, and creating public artworks uh, onto cityscapes. So, uh, I guess this is an experiment to see how potential clients can maybe incorporate these works, not exhibited as exterior, but you know, maybe it could be appreciated into large-scale interior works as well. Under the expert guidance of creative director Tracy Lee Lynch of Studio Lynch, the Clout Cafe came alive as a zone for socializing and engaging during the show, a platform for young local designers. The space served as a showcase for a variety of talents curated by Lynch. We saw the space populated with exciting new work by Design's next generation. My brief was to create the space that everyone would come to, where they would gather to enjoy a drink and something to eat, and also to network. So it was really important that it was a very functional space. And it's very much a, a focus is on um, supporting South African design and emerging talents. So we've got lots of pieces from different designers which I've put together to form Clark Cafe. All of the pieces are truly strong and unique and they really draw people in. And once you've drawn people in with the aesthetic, then you get to share the stories. You get to share the stories of all the different cultures that make up our rainbow nation and it means that we can share an incredibly powerful and positive story about our country. 100% work by Anova, a carefully curated stand that demonstrates agility and flexibility in the workplace through utilizing the right products. The focus was on viewing the office as a living space and the products encourage communication and collaboration. We spend probably more time in our workplace than we do at home, so we have to try and get the best out of it. We also have to be very comfortable and very um, proactive and efficient when working in, in our space. Talk to me about the functionality of these blocks. Essentially they are pieces of Lego where they fit together, they connect together, but the idea is that as an individual, irrespective of your size and gender, can actually use the furniture in a very simple way. So you can pick up the furniture, just one person without any screws or um, fasteners, and ultimately you can redesign the furniture as you see fit. 
This year, the light tank brought an element of interactive magic to the Gallagher Convention Centre, masterminded by Scott Nico Design. So the concept of the light tank was to make light the protagonist and look at it, what it can do as its own design element. You know, in most cases you're looking at pendants and desk lamps for their ornamental value and not necessarily what the light can do and how it can enhance your spaces or your architecture. If you think about colour itself, it's, uh, it's psychological. The minute you walk into a, into a red room or a, or a green room, or whatever, you feel differently. And light can, can work hand in hand with those colours if you're using, again, the right light at the right level and the right colour at the right time. It just all works together to enhance the space and to allow us to, to function in that space so much better. Trends in lighting are pushing beyond lighting itself and going more into control. So how lighting can be controlled and give you, the user or the end user, an interface to, to control the different scenes in your house, in your office, and adapt it to what you need at the time or the given task that you are then performing. American Hardwood are taking Houtlander's designs international with sustainability and nature at the core of their manufacturing. So we're talking about management, which means selective harvesting of a forest, allowing trees to grow back by themselves, it's not replanting. So that's genuine sustainability. So we design very much with the manufacturing process in mind. We design as a group and uh, we conceptualize, design and scrutinize our work to make sure that we get the best design that we can out of, out of any project we do. It's a massive compliment for us to know that we as South African designers can actually compete uh, with designers uh, across the world. Um, we've always kind of had that sense that we can't compete or we're not good enough, but being on a show like this at 100% Design South Africa and seeing the, the class of design we've got, um, it's just amazing to, to be a part of this collective of South African designers and know that our work is world class. From architecture and industrial design, to homeware with an African aesthetic, emerging technologies and environmental problem solving, the 2019 edition of 100% Design South Africa offered the perfect platform for established and young designers to make their mark in their respective industries.